Coach Breeze, first things first, new colors, new colors. Lake Erie College, congratulations on the head coaching job. Uh, just got into town here in Ohio last week. Yeah. How has everything been going and you know with the new job title and the new the new school? Uh, everything's been great so far. It's been a whirlwind. I mean it's been what's today? Sunday. I haven't been in town for six days yet. I've been at Akron. We had guys wrestling at U23s. Down here doing scramble camp today, getting some things in order, but it's been awesome so far. We got a really good group of guys coming back and have signed a few guys already in the short time, so uh, pretty excited about how things are going. Going from a D3 to a D2 is very different. D3s cannot give scholarship money, and now you have scholarships. That you, can give. you guys have 9.0 scholarships at Lake Erie College. How much different is that? Does that change things at all for you as far as recruiting? It, it does in one sense. I think it gives us more access to guys. Um, there's a bigger pool of guys that will have that conversation with us that probably were deserving of scholarship money anyway, but they're guys that that conversation starts a lot easier. But I don't know that I'm looking for anything really different. Guys that believe we can win a national title at Lake Erie is what we're looking for. Guys that are going to live the right lifestyle and do the things that kind of are, are our expectations are still the same. That's what we're looking for, but you know we have access to some guys that maybe were in the Ironman finals and things like that that maybe I didn't have access to when I was in D3. You look at the area. You know you're in a large metropolitan area now. Uh, you know it's Akron, Cleveland, Canton. You're right there. You're on the east side of Cleveland. What's it like going from a small town in Iowa to a larger metropolitan area like the Cleveland area, in Northeast Ohio? It's been crazy since I've been here. The things that are within an hour and a half, two hours of me. Um, and all the places I can be in that short amount of time, it makes definitely makes things a lot more efficient. I can get a lot more done a lot quicker. And uh, there's a ton, a ton of talent around here, and there's a ton of talent moving east into PA, and a ton of talent north up in, Mich in Michigan and Indiana. There's just a lot right here. There were a ton of great guys in Iowa, but we were three, four hours away from almost all of them in Iowa. Now they're right in our backyard, so it's pretty exciting. You're looking at the, the new job title. You haven't got your assistant coaches yet. Where, where are you at with that process, and who are you looking to bring in? What, what, what type of person? A weight? How do you, yeah. how do you determine all that? Um, I, it's a feel thing to, to some degree, but we think, uh, we think we're pretty close. I think we're going to have uh, probably in the next week or two, we'll have the whole staff rounded out. We'll probably have a five-man staff. Um, we'll have two volunteer coaches that, again, to your point, there's a ton of people in the area. They're just great people that happen to live around Lake Erie College that have D1 experience and have been coaching for years. They're just right there that want to help the program be great. Um, and then we'll bring in two GAs as well. I think we'll have that first one hired probably mid-next week. And then I'm really looking for a guy specifically in the middle. I'm a light guy. One of the other volunteers is a light guy. We got two upper weights that, that we're going to bring in to cover, you know, I'm a 125, 133 pounder. So a big guy to work with the big guys and kind of be a presence for them. And then we're going to look for a guy that's right in the middle. Um, we have some really strong middle weights. So we're going to look for a guy that's somewhere between the 49, 65 range and try and find a really great fit there to push those guys. Multiple NCAA finalists for Coach Hoogenboom. There's no question you can't win at Lake Erie. You know, you're, you're in fertile grounds, right near Western PA, Northeast Ohio. Yep. You know, two of the top hotbeds, top five hotbeds. Yep. Uh, you know, it's there. Hoogenboom laid a good foundation. What do you got to do to be a top ten, top five team, to get a team trophy? Uh, I mean, it's, it's recruiting, but I think the biggest thing is we can no longer have a, a kind of a mediocre um, expectation. And not that those guys necessarily do. But because you haven't won a national title yet, sometimes it's hard to think like a team that's going to win a national title until you've had that experience. We have to think like a team that's going to win a national title and do those things all of the time and not accept mediocre very much that we do. And that's the biggest thing. 